Hello YouTubers, so this will be a video on how to wire this Atlas Sound SD72W speaker to your intercom system or whatever you're trying to hook it to. The reason for this speaker is it's very common first of all. And second of all, I'm sure most of you viewers out there have to have this model in your, on your system. Or want to get one of these because they're also very common to find on the internet. And... The first thing you'll notice is there's a whole bunch of wires. Those of you that are beginners with this kind of stuff. So, there is two versions of this speaker to be aware of. Version 1, the transformer only goes up to 2 watts maximum. And the second version, which says what this one is, goes up to 4 watts. And what that means is... Usually in retail store environments or schools or whatnot, most of the time you're going to tap these things at maximum 2 watts. That's usually the standard. It'll never go at 4 watts. But us enthusiasts, we like turbo power. I mean, unless it's in a very small room, maybe we might reduce it down to 2 or 1 watt. No, so that's how much... Depends on how much, watt, how much watts that your amp puts out. You do not want to exceed that. So, this transformer here, which every one of these SC72W speakers there will have this, this type of transformer. So, we have a 25 volt column and we have a 70 volt column. So, black, which is BLK, it's on both of the columns. It's always going to be common, so what that means is this black is always going to be used, regardless if it's a 25 volt or a 70 volt system, because this speaker can be used on both 25 and 70 volt systems. It's universal across the two. So that this black will always be used. And let's say I want to tap this thing at one watt at I don't know 70 volts, so one watt. So according to this chart here. Yellow will be used, which is this guy. If I could get it out of the mess here, there's yellow right there. Yellow. And I make my connection to my system, and this uses one watt. And let's say I wanted to downgrade to 25 volts, but I still want to maintain that one watt. That one watt. Well, there's a green right there. GR is for green. If this camera will focus. Or G, yeah, GN for green. Well, interestingly enough, there's a green right here. I don't know why this speaker, this model of Atlas Sound Seeker does this, but it's a green wire with the white line. That is your green. That will be one watt at on the 25 volt system. This wire right here. And let's say eventually I want to bump it to four watts at 25 volts. Well, there's OR. And there's BR, so I want to go to the OR, which is this guy, and recap it to be 5 watts on the 25 volt system. This orange will be used. I'll disconnect the, the green that I previously stated, and I'll switch it to orange, and then it'll be at 5 watts. Hence, it'll be a little bit louder. Or let's say I go back to a 70 volt system. I know I'm going back and forth here, but I'm trying to make... make Try to help you guys make sense of this wiring. So I go back to 70 volts and I had this previously on a 25 volt system. Well then I'm going to take this, disconnect this orange wire. This orange wire. And switch it out to this brown. Which is BR. So it'll be 5 watts at 70 volts instead of the 25 so that is how you would wire one of these up and also read that that chart on the transformer. So I hope you guys found this video useful for, for this Atlas SD-72W speaker.